Potter, a four-year contract and the Celtic news today is, the hierarchy at Celtic, are stepping up their efforts to make sure Carter Vickers and Hotter are in place long before Postacogla turns his thoughts to his second Celtic campaign. The Celtic manager, is confident that the Celtic squad will be unaffected by last weekend's result, and the team will carry on in their usual fashion. The manager has said nothing has changed in training, following their usual routines as they prepare for Sunday's match against Ross County. From our perspective, nothing's changed. Whether we won last week or didn't win last week our process will still be the same. That is to give feedback to the guys about our previous game's performance and then we'll move on pretty quickly. We've done that all year and it's been a similar week. I understand the result was disappointing last week and we're out of the cup but ultimately, in terms of the league, nothing changes for US after the weekend. We know we have five games to go, beginning this weekend. Every game is going to be its own unique little challenge and we've got to be ready for it. It was a tough one to take at the time, being beaten at Hamden by our rivals. However, if you look at the result from a different perspective, it's not so pessimistic. Celtic have already won one trophy this season and are in an excellent place to push for the league title. And more great news for Celtic fans is that a £12.5 million double bid and Celtic are in advanced talks, pushing ahead with their plans for a dramatic £12.5 million double swoop for Lone Star's Cameron Carter-Vickers and Felipe Hotta. The US international centre-back and the Portuguese flyer have impressed since joining the hoops on temporary transfers in the summer. The Parkhead club have options to buy in both contracts with Carter Vickers valued at £6 million by Spurs while Hotter is rated in the £6.5 million bracket by Benfica. Celtic appear to be at the head of the queue for the 24-year-old Southend-born back four performer and the law of playing in the Champions League will undoubtedly help their quest to get the deal sealed before the end of the season. The Celtic manager went on to say, at the time, we were close to not getting him in the window because there were moving parts. People forget that Odson Edwa and Ryan Christie didn't leave until late, so there were a hell of a lot of moving parts. Thankfully for us, we were able to get Cameron over the line at the last minute. It was a bit of a leap of faith for him because he didn't have a lot of time to think about it, but I'm sure he would say that it has been a great move for him and it's been a great move for the club. When asked about, why was it not a permanent deal? Because we didn't have the time. It was really late in the piece and the logical thing for all parties was a loan, otherwise, we wouldn't have got the deal done. Hotter, who celebrated his 23rd birthday last month, is likely to join him in the lineup against Malky McKay's outfit and talks are also going on to keep him at the club on a four-year contract. He has scored 10 goals, won more than £5 million Albion a jetty in almost two years since his summer arrival and Postacogla has already admitted he is eager to secure him on a permanent basis. The Celtic hierarchy are stepping up their efforts to make sure Carter Vickers and Hotter are in place long before Postacogla turns his thoughts to his second Celtic campaign. Great news for today I would say Celtic fans. For me it's easy, stay at Celtic, win championships, play in the Champions League. That's all you want as a footballer, Scott Brown said it many times as a player. We don't stop, we keep going forward. That is the Celtic way. The Celtic FC manager pointed out yesterday how things work at Celtic these days. I think my role is to give the players feedback after every performance and result, good, bad or otherwise, the Celtic manager explained. We got back into training and they are disappointed of course but at the same time. They understand that what needs to happen after a result like that is that you put your energies in a positive way into the next game. What is important is your performance coming into a game so that previous form and where you are in terms of your position in the table is irrelevant. That resilience has been there all year and at this important part of the season that is what you have to rely on and that the environment you have created will overcome any extra pressures, there may be. Asked if he has been surprised by the reaction to a defeat at Celtic compared to some of the other places he has managed, the Celtic gaffer said. I am not surprised. It is entirely natural and logical and understandable. I am under no illusion that people will feel good or okay after losing a game. 
It was the semi-final of the cup and an opportunity to get to a final against our biggest rivals and I think it's only natural and it is a healthy thing as that is what maintains standards at this football club. Because what I do know is that come Sunday is that all the supporters will be behind us 100% and they will want us to do well. And on that note have a great Saturday Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.